Figuring out my life. Monday. It's my birthday today. I was thinking that I would start the day by having a bit of a nicer brunch in the evening. I will be seeing my some friends. Hello. Yeah, let's go. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello. I reach through the mysterious scene My home to home I look for the things I don't know Show me the end. I thought honestly. I should be the last to fall in death. I stand alone. Show me the end. I should be the last to Greetings from my lovely rooftop. It's crazy to think about how much has changed during the past year. Last year I was still with Rory, my ex, and yeah, I was just at a completely different place in my life. Yeah, you never know what's going to happen. The past year has definitely been the most difficult year of my life. That said, I am grateful for everything that happened since I feel like I learned so much about myself right now. I feel like I'm kind of like being more truthful to myself, trying to follow the things that I want to actually do in my life. I feel like I'm more connected to my my feelings and who I am authentically. Maybe to some people it sounds like, you know, the most obvious thing, but for me at least, I've for a very long time struggled with uh, people pleasing tendencies it definitely hasn't always been easy to know how i feel and you know act accordingly hopefully 31 will be a good year figuring out my life the year that i was 30 was basically a year of tearing everything apart and starting over this year hopefully it's building everything up and going towards the things that i want in my life How do you feel? Turning, turning a year older. <laughs> I don't know, I feel the same. Same old hag. <laughs> same old hag. <laughs> Hello, I'm about to head out. I need to go to the bank, pay some tax stuff, and then I thought I would go to a cafe in Shibuya. <laughs>
Mocha Jam session host group again today. So on my way there. Hopefully it will be a fun evening. Good morning. I started the day by having a little rehearsal at Noah's Studio. So since I'm doing a looper gig tomorrow, I thought I needed to try playing with a mic because I don't have a mic at home, so it was definitely good that I did. But yeah, I'm gonna run to Muji. If you didn't know, you can pass through the loft to get to Muzi. I also need batteries. I know Muzi has some batteries, but I'm not sure if they have the one that I need. Okay, I'm gonna go back to brunettes. I was just thinking about it. I even did an Instagram poll actually and 60% of the people who responded voted for brunettes. So I'm gonna do it. Mainly because when I have my own hair color, my hair quality is just so much better. I feel like I'm ready for a change. I want to go back to my natural hair color. Let's go. Oh, by the way, I don't want you what happened to my nose. but. <laughs> So I've been sick for a week. One evening when I was trying to make food, I had a cupboard door that opens downwards, slam onto my nose. So I had this very straight cut on my nose. <laughs> it was actually quite funny. I had like a one single drop of blood run down my nose. That's what happened to me during the past week when I was sick. Is this person definitely takes some getting used to? 
I just got home and I realized that they, he didn't cut my hair like I wanted him to cut it. I was asking for like layers. I wanted quite a strong side fringe. This is not it at all. Most of it is just like the same length. Should I complain? Should I try to cut it myself? The color is good, but everything else is just not good. Not happy. It's happening. I just got a haircut. I'm gonna go in my scissors. Maybe it'll be better when I start it myself. I feel like I need to cut some more still. This is how much hair I cut. It didn't dye all the way through. Like around this much is my actual natural hair color. 